Good afternoon, everyone. Um, it is a real pleasure for me to be here at BODW um, sharing with you all the story about color living. Um, we just had two very inspiring talks by two world acclaimed brands of Pogan Pole and uh, Bang & Olufsen. Now I would like to take you on a journey to see how our local brand Color Living has been changing the traditional kitchen and bath shopping scene here in Hong Kong. In July of the year of the millennium in year 2000, um, Color Living arrived in the traditional building materials community on Lockhart Road. Lockhart Road was actually named after Sir James Stewart Lockhart, who was a colonial secretary of Hong Kong in the 19th century. And the road actually spans the whole length of the district of Wan Chai, where we are now in, um, from the east to the west of Hong Kong Island. Now this very interesting Lockhart Road, um, as some of you might know, near its western end houses one of Hong Kong's um, three main bar areas and was actually um, the area where the film The World of Susie Wong was set and where in those days um, Navy crews would congregate after the ships landed in Hong Kong. From the middle section onward to the eastern stretch of Lockhart Road is a very high concentration of building material stores. Um, selling individual single type of products mostly, such as marble, tiles, sanitary wares, and uh, door locks. So 12 years ago, um, this three-story new kid on the block, Color Living, which spans 2,000 square meters of space on Lockhart Road, um, landed at number 333 Lockhart Road. We have a vision to revolutionize and bring true enjoyment, inspiration, and tasteful lifestyle into the kitchen and bath. At that time, we knew that the kitchen and the bathroom, um, the two areas at home which are you know, more for the routine functions of cooking, washing, and cleaning, were evolving to assume a different role. As a relaxation haven, as a social interactive hub, as Lars was saying, and also melting into other living areas. Uh, we strongly believe that dwellings in Hong Kong, albeit relatively um, less spacious, don't mean that they have to be boring. So to drive this revolution, um, we designed the brand DNAs for color living, and we personified it to be love to delight, aspiring, stimulating, stylish, and always aspiring for the best in class. A color living was to advocate a new definition of kitchen and bath culture, and we appeal to passionate customers who are aspiring for the epitome of ultimate luxury, and we always carry with us a philosophy of happy staff, happy customers, and happy partners. These DNAs, these ingredients, are then consistently and continuously immersed in everything we do. Our spatial design, our shopping experience design, our people development program, to create the color living story, to choreograph the color living experience, and to portray the color living perception internally and externally, and to instill a passion towards kitchen and bath lifestyle. Now I would like to take you through some examples of how we are designing the shopping experience and a very strong emphasis that I put on on shaping our people. With customers' shopping experience design, the key elements that my team and I live and breathe with every day are we curate merchandise. We always mix and match and style novel products to create the trend. And we are here to anticipate and create future needs. We choreograph the shopping environment to stimulate desire and aspiration, and to instill inspirations while advocating tasteful lifestyle. We also innovate around our customers' buying processes and design the shopping experience 
to spoil our customers, to differentiate, and also to enliven our happy customer philosophy. What we are very passionate at, at Color Living is bringing together the most cutting edge and evolutionary designs from all over the world and mix and match them to create a statement on the trend. Now, for example, um, three days ago, we unveiled in Hong Kong the first of its kind horizontal shower. Um, versus, as in every day, we are very used to conventional vertical type of shower. And we integrated it with a wireless home automation system from Singapore, bringing the first automated and digitalized experience shower in Hong Kong. Shower scenarios are choreographed by three preset programs of balancing, energizing, and de-stressing with varying water temperature, intensity, and rhythm. Raising the bar and taking the showering experience to new heights, at the touch of a button, the wireless home automation system brings to you your desirable shower program and with your bespoke audiovisual and lighting setting. This transforming water concept has become a healing therapy, harmonizing and stimulating the three human dimensions of the body, the mind and the soul. Now, I think as our lives are becoming increasingly and successfully influenced by technology, um, the bathroom is becoming digitalized too. And every day, we need to recharge our phone. As so do our body and our mind. They both need to be recharged. And the bathroom is no longer the bathroom as defined by the dictionary, and we'd like to think of it and call it the home spa. The home spa is where well-being, health, and relaxation are being well looked after. As our recent sales campaign, Sizzling Home Spa Privileges, goes, we're setting the home spa trend and creating the ultimate home spa experience by bringing together the offerings of the world's first hydrosonic whirlpool using ultrasound for a deep penetrating massage, and the bathtub actually also gives you um, spoken instructions, so you don't have to read piles of manuals when you operate it. Um, we also have the outdoor spa, which is more than the usual outdoor spa in that it has a built-in champagne cooler. It has a built-in sound system uh, where sound gets transmitted through the water. Japanese onsen bathtubs, but in a modernized version. Designer bikes gym equipment, fireplaces, relaxation lounges, or even intelligent mirrors for monitoring health as well as keeping ourselves entertained. Mosaic mirrors, spa furniture, and last but not least, the fourth dimension of scent, aromatherapy. Now, our various points of sale have also developed into points of experience for our frontline staff, and I will come back to this later. Now, the brands that we are bringing into Hong Kong are from European manufacturers who have very clearly defined sustainability goals 
in the manufacturing and technological development. At the front, while we market their unique creativity and aesthetics, we're also here to promote their eco-friendly awareness. Our green fantasy campaign starts with a water-saving uh, water closet, which has been a big breakthrough in design as well as bathroom space saving. This wash basin and water closet all in one allows grey water from the basin after washing your hands to flush the system, thereby enabling a 25% reduction in the consumption of flushing water. And it's got a built-in double filtration system which functions as an automatic cleaning system to remove particle debris from the water which you wash your hands with and at the same time eliminates unpleasant odour and bacteria from the water which is then saved for the next flush. How about the mixer? What you see on the screen here is a hybrid shaped design mixer featuring 13 individual water jets. Now this gives a new textural feeling in the bathroom at the same time allowing you to wash your hands with an efficient rinse uh, manner which enables a reduction in flow rate of 33 to 50% over conventional mixes. So yes, now we might not have to plant a tree, but laying down 25 square meters of tiles can have the same environmental cleaning impact as a medium-sized tree. So how do we do that? Um, ceramics are now coated with titanium dioxide. Um, thanks to a patented technology, and tiles can now self-clean with the interaction of water and light. This photocatalytic technology enables tile surfaces to be disinfected with bacteria removed. Plus, again, thanks to technology, ceramic slabs with natural stone looks, as you see now on the right of the screen, can come in sizes as big as 3 meters by 1 meter 50 with only a 6 millimeter thickness. So this is a green option um, as to exhausting our natural stone quarries. Now green fantasy in the kitchen. This world's first kitchen made entirely of aluminum is a timeless design that is 100% recyclable, non-toxic. Um, Lars was saying when we move home, actually with this kitchen, when you move home, you can literally 100% move the kitchen with you. Um, it is totally water resistant and because of the material aluminium, it offers maximum hygiene, especially for you know, very humid weather in Hong Kong when wood may um, kind of you know, deteriorate over time with moisture. And paired with this um, kitchen can be an intelligent oven whose innovative convection system actually requires no preheating when you cook your food. And it permits three levels of cooking at the same time without mixing odor. So energy and cost are safe and they make life a lot simpler. Now drink fresh from the tap, drink filtered um, may not be nothing new, but we have brought in the world's first three-way tap with an exclusive and patented filtration system for immediately drinkable water, bringing the eco-friendly concept into luxury sophistication with love for the planet. The Swiss cartridge that is used is also used in survival products supplied to um, charities like UNICEF and Red Cross and uses a composition of silver for killing bacteria, carbon for chemical reduction, zeolite for heavy metal reduction, and ceramic that is able to filter down to 0.2 micron. And for your information, human hair is about 50 micron thick. We believe that there is more to product and spatial design when it comes to customer shopping experience, and every attention to detail matters. In this 2,000 square meter space of color living, we have purposely allocated adequate breathing space amount displays and hospitable seating area on each floor 
where customers can relax over a coffee, keep themselves happy with our color living dark chocolates, talk about their needs with designers and our front line, and also draw inspirations from books and magazines. We meticulously select publication of different themes and different music for different floor, uh, played through Bang & Olufsen sound, of course. And we have books on wine and dine, cooking and celebrity chefs in the kitchen area, and books on like spa, lifestyle and photography in wellness area, and so on and so forth. And from time to time, we would organize wine tasting, um, live cooking demonstration by celebrity chefs. And now that wine glasses are also in our portfolio, um, in the evening, we would also offer wine to our customers so that they can experience how wine breathes and develops in these nice you know, Austrian glasses designed by a wine priest. And what it means, as remarked by a leading master of wine, describing the wine, describing, sorry, the wine glass as the thinnest and most delicate glasses, yet seems springy and almost elastic in the hand. And coming soon in this month, we will also be serving bubbly to our customers. So um, please drop by when you have time every evening. Now, we, with our love to delight DNA, we love spoiling our customers. We've come to realize that happy customers are actually our best advertising tool. And this is, of course, not achieved only with what I've said so far. We spend a lot of time thinking out of the box and drawing inspirations from other industries to delight our customers and ensure that we meet the happy customer philosophy. Apart from the human touch, um, this is where technology comes into play. We believe that as products become more and more technical and complicated, we really need to go the extra mile to look after our customers' pre-sale and after-sales needs in technical service and product care. So we have developed a technical service mobile office apps through which our technicians can complete each service job, including the customer's acknowledgement after the service is done in a paperless manner. And our technicians, after the job, can communicate in real time with our office, with our frontline staff on the job status, on what's happening at site with videos and photos, and questions maybe to be posed to our manufacturers over in Europe. When our technical crew attends to service calls, we would also clean color living products for our customers with a 21st century nano coating material designed to enhance the appearance and increase the durability of the finishes. And at the storefront, we have employed large touch screens, which are becoming a part of our digitalized point of sale tools, where customers can freely browse around catalogs, um, project references of brands that we represent. And we have also introduced an iPad apps through which our frontline can look into the inventory as they shop around all floors of the store with customers without having to go back to and fro their workstations. And at the same time, they can drop down notes on what the customer likes, what the customer doesn't like, and habits and so on to fine tune our presentations and also for us to discover maybe the hidden needs. Now, a lot has been said about vision, strategies, plans and ideas. All that being said, um, I think it's the soul and passion of our people which are making things happen. And every detail, every consistency matters. And standing in customers' shoes matters. Anticipating needs with passion also matters. So how do we shape our people, spread our culture, and groom our talents? First of all, I believe it starts from recruiting the right people with a growth mindset, and having the individual's personal aspiration in sync with Color Living's. Then we are responsible for what's in there at Color Living for the candidate's own horizon broadening and career development. 
to keep myself passionate about my job, Colin has consistently been providing many different trainings for me to boost my confidence in serving customers. In addition, it's the culture of color living that makes me passionate about my job. This includes passionate colleagues as well as that there is no hierarchy in this company as managers and other employees treat each other as friends. We have also set up a school concept branded Let's Fly Academy with a vision to help our colleagues front and back better understand our vision, unleash the team's passion and potential, and also to transform our experienced staff to the next level and transform frontline with potential to managerial positions. Our training courses are designed to encompass different aspects of management skills and service skills. We also have a lot of mentoring programs and activities which are aimed at enticing a frontline to aspire to the lifestyle which we are creating. And these include wine tasting, spa experience, um, a golf night out, fine dining, table manners training, and so on and so forth. Through daily morning briefing sessions on what happened the day before and the day forward, we encourage voicing out ideas, dare to ask and probe, and coaching eye on details. Our daily service stories are also video clipped as our service do's and don'ts training materials. And we have wall of honor in our intranet to post compliments from customers and share with colleagues across the group. Now, we don't pretend that you know, we, we don't have complaints. And whenever we have complaints, we always hold um, focus group discussion and very open review with colleagues concerned to advocate courage to face up to the complaints and don't let mistakes happen again. And and very importantly, turn our unhappy customers into happy ones again. After customer complaints, I firstly review and rethink the whole scenario to see what we could improve and to avoid similar problems to occur next time. Secondly, I always share this experience with my colleagues as we are on the same line and through this progress we gather a lot of opinion and somehow it motivates us to work harder and boost our team spirit as well. Now putting ourselves to benchmark, we enroll Colour Living into a Mystery Shoppers program every year organised by the Hong Kong Retail Management Association. Um, under this program, mystery shoppers come in and evaluate the service standard of each of our front line. And I'm pleased to say that we were service retailer of the year in our furniture and home accessories category two years ago in 2010. And just two days ago, we were again accredited with um, the service of the retailer award in 2012. At our stores, we also appoint brand ambassadors for each major brand that we represent. Um, each sales front line is trained by our design and marketing department to develop business and merchandising plans. And through this exercise, um, they will be developing their business mindset, their right brains and left brains, um, their communication skills, their storytelling skills, and so on. Now, going back to the point of sale being our point of experience also, um, we encourage our front line to always try our latest novelties in the showroom. And following are some of the photos that they really shocked me the next morning in my mailbox after a recent um, trial. Um, apparently, after this trial, they slept very well the night afterwards. And after trying for themselves, they will be a better ambassador in promoting the unique features and health benefits of our wellness products. We also encourage involvement and contribution back to society. So through a recent participation in a food charity program, we fostered creativity in designing and building our full bowl of love structure made entirely out of 4,300 cans of canned food, 
which will later be donated to local food banks and distribute to those in need. Now, as 12-year-old color living will soon go into its teens, it has also evolved as a hub of inspiration, a platform for cultural dialogue, as well as a venue for even book launch and fashion show. And recently, Color Living was also a partner with Steve Leung in the launch of his first bath collection, Inkstone, inspired by Chinese culture and Chinese calligraphy. We're very pleased that Color Living is being gradually recognized and regarded as a partner by internationally acclaimed designers and architects. And earlier on this year, Tony Chi and Associates from New York debuted their true living concept at Color Living in an unprecedented creative partnership provoking new ideals in the culture of the kitchen and bath. True living is a notion pioneering true thoughts for everyday living through the power of design and reimagining the kitchen and bath space by looking at contemporary living, connecting with the ritual of bath cultures. The true island operates as a multi-purpose point of our life that combines the rituals of everyday living and provides a central experience for socializing, refreshing, working, and relaxing. And the Elika foot bath and basin are the first of a series of bath designs inspired to blend art with utility. Now, as we continuously redefine the cutting edge kitchen and bath culture, redefine the relaxation and enjoyment philosophy, we yearn to be continuously inspired by thoughtful designs and lifestyle visionaries around the world. And perhaps one day, Color Living shall have the opportunity to establish our foothold around the globe. And before I close my presentation, I would like to end with a quote from Sir Winston Churchill. My tastes are simple, I'm easily satisfied with the best, and I'm always on the search for the best of tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, Denise. <laughs> it's great to hear you talk, always. Um, so actually, we, we're really a little bit behind schedule, so we have time for only one question, I'm afraid. So please take your chance for one question only. Wow, there's a gentleman over there already with his hand up. I have a question. Uh, we can see in your presentation that you import and sell mostly a European brand. Yes. But what do you think of the opportunity for you or for a Hong Kong company to develop your own product and or to work with local designer and maybe develop product who fit more the the culture and the lifestyle of Hong Kong or Chinese people like GOD can do also. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, maybe Douglas, we, we should talk. We've together before, haven't we? <laughs> yeah. Um, actually, um, the true living concept that I presented earlier on is um, in line with the direction the gentleman mentioned. Um, we've always um, brainstormed internally on whether we should pursue with research and development on developing our own products. The conclusion that we've come up to so far is we know where our strengths and our weaknesses are. We believe that our strengths are on the marketing and branding side and styling things to create the lifestyle. Whereas to invest on research and develop, it takes a lot of resources. It's not just money. And there are so many beautiful objects being designed around the world. So um, why, why we reinvent the wheel? But um, maybe after today, we should talk. Huh? Definitely. Yeah. Thank you very much, Denise. Thank you. That was wonderful. Thank you. Thank you.